At Photobike, we've had quite a few amazing bits of kit over the years, and for the past few months, we've had the privilege of testing and reviewing some new ones, the AOS 2 and the Neo 3, as part of our live production studio. But this light shines so bright, it's hard to look away. Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Photobike. Late last year, Rotolite started and successfully launched a Kickstarter campaign for two brand new products, the AOS 2 and the Neo 3. Now that the devices are out in the wild, and especially now the new accessories are here, we are going to show you all of the amazing innovation and abundance of the world's firsts that Rotolite are bringing to the table. What Rotolite is doing is incredible, not only for the many world's firsts, but also for inspiring me to push the boundaries of what I can do in and out of the studio. So here is what we've been up to and why the AOS 2 and the Neo 3 have never left my side. This is not just a bright light or a bright white, but 16.7 million colors. 2,500 gels and filters from Lee and Roscoe, all insanely beautiful, 11,500 continuous lux of light. The round design carried over from the previous editions lends itself to creating a smooth and more natural light and reflections on your subject than any LED in its category. Its touchscreen is extremely responsive. With two extra dials, you can still get the precision you need. Just like to add as well, this has a TLCI rating of 99%. And at 1.4 kilograms, it's light, very light. And I haven't even mentioned the flash, but it's all of this, all 16.7 million colors in a brighter than continuous 17,500 lux at three foot flash. Did I mention zero recycle times? This is a flash that can not only flash millions of different colors, and again, 2,500 different filters and gels, but also keep up with any crazy fast cameras out there. And what about the Neo 3? Well, it's a smaller camera light, and it has all of the flash and features of the AS2, whilst being the most powerful on-camera light at 5,443 lux continuous and 10,700 for the flash. You won't go short of light nor break your back with this little light, which is weighing in at only 354 grams. And you can use your existing NPF batteries as well with it. The only caveat being that depending on your NPFs, the super high power flash might overload your batteries. So you might wanna just stick to the continuous lighting if you are using your own. As an added treat, it has 12 dialable in cine SFX modes for filmmakers out there, including triggerable gunshots, paparazzi, TV mode, flame, a whole bunch of different ones, all tweakable and all triggerable. But our first outing was at a Creativity Hub event with Rotolite. This was my first hands-on with both lights, so I decided to start the day by just having a play with the lights as a flash and try to get some unique shots. However, I quickly saw that a lot of other photographers were using it just as a continuous light. After following them around for the day and watching them get some great shots, I thought to myself, hey, maybe I could just use this as a light as I would for film production and take the snap. So with some more experience with the lights under my belt, the second Creativity Hub event with Rotolite, I said, sod it, we're gonna do photos today. And what a day it was. I was blown away with what these lights could really do. Not to mention, I was especially pleased with the event where it was sci-fi themed and I love sci-fi. One of my favorite shots was Angry Gamer Girl and there was natural light coming in through the window that I accented with the AOS 2 and using the Neo 3 as a little effects light as a TV for a little bit more of a fill. And then I used that big angry red from another AOS 2 to kind of bring a bit more mood to that scene. In some of these shots, there was natural light coming in from skylights and windows, but with the Roto Light's power and access to so many different colors, it's no problem at all. You can really dial in whatever you need for any shot. Once back in our home studio, a simple music video shoot came through the door and I jumped at the opportunity to get the EOS on the shoot. 
The idea was to create a film-like look that flickered between some spectacular colors and what could be more perfect than our newest addition to our setup, Daos 2. I loved chatting with the talent about the different gels and filters that they liked and we were totally spoiled for choice and ended up with a fantastic result. As I said, we are a full-time running studio and reviewing new kit is a great way to learn and improve our knowledge of the newest and greatest gear out there. But as soon as the AOS 2 came in, it instantly became one of our daily drivers. One of those reasons was the VFX shoots we were doing. We needed some crazy powerful lights that could emulate different scenes with unique effects. We had a big green screen shoot lined up, so we tested them. We used the AOS 2 to match a color in our background of a green screen test. The ultimate test, a vending machine. And my God, did it work perfectly. With that out of the way, we knew we could use it to light environments much bigger. A spaceship, a desert moon, and an apocalyptic cityscape. The quality of light and huge wash you can achieve was perfect for this shoot. We had to create three different environments in quite quick succession on our shoot over two evenings. The backlighting especially helped us overlay the footage so much more into the scene and hopefully the end result can speak for itself. Since having the lights in our studio and kit bags, Lighting scenarios and attitudes have changed dramatically. Using a massive variety of colors on our sets have gone from we could maybe do that, but we have no RGB light bright enough to how can we add more color to our shoots? For me, it's like when I first got a gimbal, I wanted to use it constantly. I almost disregarded if a shot needed to be static or moving and I feel I really have to stop myself from going colorblind and using them to their incredible extremes. If you're thinking of buying one of these lights, it's definitely worth picking up either the Explorer kit from the AOS 2, which comes with a battery and the diffuser, or the ultimate bundle of the Neo 3, which comes with both as well. Both of them will come with their chargers and an extra cable to power both of the lights. <laughs> what I love about Rotolite is that they want to give you it all. They've taken their technology from the Big Brother production lights, the Titans, and jammed it right into these lightweight and very powerful lights. And for years to come, I have the confidence that they will bring even more accessories and longevity to these lights. As announced recently, they've even created backwards compatibility to control their older AOS ones. And also, most of these accessories work with the older series as well. A definite game changer in my eyes. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the new Roto Light products. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to see more great products like this.